If you clicked on this video thinking that travel vlogging is just sunshine and rainbows, Well, you're wrong. This here is about 10% of what we're doing. It takes a lot of passion and a ton of work. Like a ton, a ton of work. So right now we are on a safari in Kenya, Africa, but trust me, this is not our starting point. No, our starting point was literally in our kitchen at first, but when we started to want to do travel, we just did our own city. We did Instagrammable foods, and then yeah. we slowly were, did a weekend trip to like PEI and yeah. another province. But just doing basically the most touristy things to do in your own town, in your own province, or in your own country. Not even touristy. If it's in your own province, mm -hmm. do hidden gems that you don't think anyone else knows about. Yeah, you don't need to spend a ton of money to start a travel channel. No. You can do it basically for free, starting in your own town and become an expert in where you live. So yeah. people will go on YouTube and you'll be the reference for Texas or <laughs> Paris. Halifax. Halifax. <laughs> that was us back in the days. <laughs> Look at all the zebras and wildebeest in the distance. And then eventually, if you go on a family vacation, well, bring your camera. That's a great, great spot to start. And then when you decide to invest a little bit of money, if you start making a little bit of money with social media, then this is where the true adventure starts. But again, there's so much work. You cannot watch travel YouTubers on YouTube being like, wow, like it looks so easy and everything. Because again, what you're watching right now was not their starting point. I gotta say so far, it looks and tastes, no. So after a long day of filming, we are now just relaxing around a beautiful campfire with a glass of wine and we're gonna talk about the next point. And the next point is talking about equipment. So a lot of people who want to do travel videos are waiting to have enough money and wants to invest thousands of dollars into equipment and that is completely wrong because these days, literally what you have in your pocket, your phone, is plenty because yeah. all the phones in 2022 are at least at a minimum shooting in HD which is 1080p and that is more than enough. So basically when we first started our channel, at least for the first six months, we ran just off the phone. Yeah. I had like a, even editing. Even editing. I was running out of an iPhone 7. Yeah. I paid $3.99 for an editing software yeah. that's called InShot and I was doing 100% of our videos on that. I was filming, You didn't even have editing. a computer. No, I didn't we even didn't have, have a, a computer. computer. No. Filming, editing, uploading on YouTube, optimizing and everything, 100% of our channel yeah. was done with a phone. So now we have much more equipment, but it took some time. It's not, you, you don't need to like, you know, throw all the money by the window no. from day one. And this is just us reinvesting basically. Yeah, all the money so. that we make from the channel, it never goes in our <laughs> bank accounts. It no. always go into making better quality <laughs> video because we like it. We truly enjoy it. And that's what's going to bring us to the next point. Yeah. So let's talk about consistency. You have to be able to motivate yourself to stay consistent because that is the number one key on any social media. So my suggestion is that you pick your favorite social platform, the one that you wanna actually bring to the next level. Obviously, YouTube is gonna be your number one and then Instagram and TikTok, which is a very good way to grow, should be like your second platform. So pick an upload schedule for your content and stick to it no matter what so don't start a youtube vlog and think that you're going to be able to upload every single day because that is not realistic especially if you still work so pick maybe one video a week maybe one video every two weeks maybe one a month as long as it's a good video a quality video that you're proud of to put out there so pick your schedule stick to it so the next point is talking about rejection and you know what this has to be a passion more than a hobby well it can still just be a hobby but if it's not passionate about it then you know what you're probably going to abandon it before you see anything come out of it so when you're in that transition if you want to make your hobby now a bit of a side income just remember the number of subscribers doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to get anything so the big difference is when you're smaller and have a smaller audience 
you're kind of the one reaching out to companies, putting proposals forth basically. When you have a larger following, chances are companies are probably reaching out to you. Now, back to rejection. When you reach out, this is why I say you have to be passionate about it because you are going to get rejected a lot, especially in the beginning. And don't let it get you down. You just have to roll with it. Pro tip, so when you're reaching out to a company and you wanna pitch them an idea, everything like that, start the email with what you're going to provide for them, what you're gonna offer them. There's many different ways to do it, so just lead with that. So for us as travel content creators, we focus on selling the exposure aspect of it. So when we reach out to companies, we start the email by saying how many people we are reaching every month over our various social media platforms. So the part that most people don't see is that transition period. So in that transition period, well for us, we're still in it. So we are in it. <laughs> we're full still spin. working full time and doing this on the side. So I think there's a romanticized idea that you're gonna have so much more time together and everything like that. And I do believe if we can make this work full time, then we will have our time back. Yeah. But my my philosophy is that I'm sacrificing time now to get time back later on. Because yeah. right now I'm doing the 40 hours a week in an office and then 40 hours a week in my own office at home editing videos and everything. Monday to, uh, uh, not Monday, but Friday to Sunday, we are always away filming something. And even though it looks all fancy and fun and we're drinking wine and eating good food and watching animals, it's so much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think just the aspect of this portion is just don't expect to have a lot more time with your significant other if that's what you have in your head. Yeah, it from, may not work that way. From Monday to Friday, <laughs> we don't see each other at all. Oh, and if you think we make millions of dollars doing that, I'm going to link the, another video down below where we talk about how much money we make. You might be disappointed a lot. <laughs> so one more thing, talking in public. Right now we are in an airport terminal. Is there people looking at us? Yes. Yeah. Are they going to stop? Probably no. not, but you need to understand that you do something that is not common, therefore people are kind of yeah. curious and interested. And it's just something you just have to get used to, unfortunately. Yeah. When we first started, we were very mindful of where we were filming to have not too many people around because we we're kind of shy, but now, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> So as we said multiple different ways in this video, being a travel YouTuber is not what people think. It is not as glamorous and it is, it is not everything you saw, see on social media. Don't believe everything you see on social media because that is such a small, small percentage of what we do. The rest is all behind the scene and it's a lot of work. Meaning that if you wanna do it, do it because it can open so many different doors but do not do it thinking that you're gonna get overnight success millions of dollars millions of subscribers because this is not how it happens yeah. and you know what even in the beginning your family and friends are probably gonna be like what, what are you doing because like... <laughs> you're not doing something that everyone else is doing no it's very different so even people around you might make fun of you yep. don't understand what you're doing but if you're truly passionate about it keep doing it yeah so i think at the end of the day just start it and have fun enjoy <laughs> <laughs>